Yeah, this is the best room for snow wrestling. Snow wrestling is when she sneaks up on you from behind, then tackles you and yells snow wrestling. It's not the best game. <laughs> well, you know what I think. What? Snow wrestling! <laughs> she tackled them. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Alright, so I'm recording this post episode. I actually already finished recording everything, but this episode is going to be a little bit untraditional because I kind of got sidetracked. I literally walked through from all the way to the beginning of the game and then walked all the way to here, going to every screen and calling Undyne and Papyrus multiple times on almost every screen. So, yeah, I'm going to cut together some of the better bits. <laughs> I'm not going to put the whole thing, but I'll cut together some of the better bits. And then next episode, we're pushing through the lab, and we're going to see what lies ahead. But for this episode, we're going to look at some of the uh, some of the stuff I missed out on. Also, let me know if I missed on any secrets. I didn't notice any extra things that I had missed other than cell phone conversations. All right, so hope you enjoy. Oh, look at that, the, um, the continue screen. It has people on it that are my friends now, I guess. I wonder if there's more I can get. Or some I missed, maybe. Oh, that would be horrible. Anyways, continuing. All right, folks, this is Zirik, and today we're playing more Undertale, as you can see. In fact, you probably already know that, because I think I might leave that part in where it showed the friends I've made. So, last time... While you guys were gone, I went back to Snowden and purchased some ice, some items. What with the bicycles rather than the ice cream? I like the fact that you can use them twice. So, yeah. Oh, let's talk to this guy, these guys over here. See if anything's new. Hello? Nope. 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 They don't want me to go still. Okay, whatever. All right, now that we're here, we gotta turn off that elevator or escalator. It's a video feed of your location. Seems like notes of something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game or <laughs> nice, a garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Really? Uh, so can we see the tower? It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Ooh. There's a puzzle in Snowden? It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. It's a beat up figure of a female human with cat ears. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. Yes. You got instant noodles. It's a bag of food. It's half full. All right. I just realized something. So I'm gonna cut straight to it. Something that I never would have found on my own. Uh, we're about to go and mess with that. So I'm gonna cut straight to it and you'll see. All right, so I got a little hint here because I've been trying to figure out what this guy's about. But I didn't know and I never would have figured it out because I never would have did this. But if I call... Papyrus. Oh, and Undyne now. Ring, ring. That's furry person throws ice all day. Nobody knows where it goes. Hey, I know. Alfie stole me. It goes to the hot land to cool down the core. It's core. Wow, Undyne. I didn't know you liked nerdy stuff. Interesting. Now we know. <laughs> I wonder if uh, I can do that with more things. I might try. Hypnotizing, isn't it? Hmm. Dimensional box A. <gasps> oh! Oh! Dimensional box B. I got two boxes for stuff now. He really hooked my phone up. Nobody picked up. 
All right, so I, you know what I might try to do is call them while I'm standing next to them. Hey, how's it going, guys? Let's see what happens. Snowden, home of Papyrus, he moved! That's the slogan, right? Nice. Hey, punk, what's up? A chew. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I get. It. I've heard this before. I just want to call while I'm standing next to her. Um. All right. There we go. I'm petitioning to change the slogan. Ah, darn it. It was something different. Let's go in here. I couldn't get enough books when I was a kid. I tore through all sorts of them. I ripped through tons of them. I kicked them into shreds. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting. We're gonna try a couple more places. I got one place in particular that just popped in my head. Grillsby's. We're too refined for that grease hole. Whoa, if you go, you have to try the cheese fries. They're amazingly bad for you. Oh, sorry, Papyrus. What were you saying? Something? Just monologuing about my love for grease. Interesting. All right, so while I was reading that, another thing popped into my head. That was what the pause was. Before I head to that place, why don't we go here and make a phone call? What? I thought you had gotten out of my room. We're going to have to start over from square one. First, do you know who Papyrus is? <laughs> Alright. I got an idea. I'm gonna cut straight to it. Ooh, let's make a phone call here. Um, the station of Great Dog. Greater Dog. He looked a bit like a certain dog I don't like. But Greater Dog doesn't collect anything. He o He's only a kleptomaniac for affection. Very interesting! A little bit of randomness in almost every spot. But as you can probably tell, you know where I'm heading, right? You can tell now. Giftor lives near there. They like gifts. Don't worry if you can't afford something nice. It's the thought that counts. So imagine you have a lot of money. <laughs> ah. I wonder if they'll tell me anything interesting about this place. There's no response. Really? Huh. Mysterious. I already fought the hidden boss that was here, but I was hoping there was something more. Alright, I got another place I'd like to check out. I'll cut straight to it. What is that? Was that always there? Woo! I finally made it back. The camera's still there. There's a camera hidden in the bushes, and that's how that guy's been watching me. Alright, so let's see what happens. First, we'll use Toral. Nobody picked up. Hmm. The strange door in the woods. Actually, my brother spends a lot of time here. What's he doing? I've got to keep him... Oh, what's he doing? I've got to keep him on, sh on the straight and narrow. Interesting. So he... They'll literally... Will they talk about this screen too? This is where my brother is supposed to patrol. But every time I show up, he's slacking off. It's a good thing I spotted you first. I'm sure he would have made a weird first impression. So, I'm starting to think that literally every screen, and maybe more. Let's see if he says it, um, no, not here. Let's see if he says anything here at the lamp.
If he's not around, he won't come back. That's just the way he functions. All right, so I'm still in the same uh, place. I haven't went into the new load screen yet. See, boom, that, that is me in a new load screen. I think he has something to say about every single screen. What? Are you lost? Hmm. You should try calling someone for help. <laughs> nice. It must be tough being a snowman. Try to be nice to people made of strange materials. <laughs> ah, the spaghetti trap room. Well, I guess it's not much of a trap anymore. Since you ate the whole thing, right? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> totally ate it all. This room is normally blocked by those spikes. But we're thinking of getting rid of them. The king released a mandate on puzzles recently. He thinks spikes are ineffective and hazardous to kids. But I think he's wrong. Kids love deadly spikes. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. The solution to this one. I actually just stepped over the spikes. So the solution is to be very tall and handsome. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, ho, this puzzle that Dr. Alfie's made. I had to ask a nine to ask her to make one. Oh. I only follow her online. I'm not really friends with her yet. That's why the puzzle was so easy to solve when I was supposed to come across it. He said it was all super complicated and then it was all just one color for me. They had to come straight across. Because Alfie sabotaged it. Backstory. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Yeah. This is the best room for snow wrestling. Snow wrestling is when she sneaks up on you from behind, then tackles you and yells snow wrestling. It's not the best game. <laughs> well, you know what I think. What? Snow wrestling! <laughs> she tackled them. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I love this. God, I was supposed to build a puzzle for this room. But I hate puzzles, so I just put a huge pile of rocks upstream. This is the room where I first spotted you. You have no idea how many spears I wanted to throw. But, um, that seagrass is under scientific protection. <laughs> well done. I wonder if Mr. Scientist had anything to do with that. Alfie's helped me measure out the mud tiles for this puzzle. It was a lot of work, but we got to make sandcastles after. We're a good team. She's great at building them. And I'm great at wrecking them. Interesting. If it wasn't for that grass, I'd have kicked your... Uh, if not for the grooty, That grooty. I've had kicked your booty. Oh, okay. Oh, grass rhymed with another word that you were possibly going to uh, to use. This is where I threw all those spears at you. That was fun. Let's do that again sometime. No, thank you. That bird will carry anyone past the gap. It never says no. When I was younger, it gave me a lift. It took an hour. But this bird never once thought of giving up. Cherish this bird. <laughs> it does have pretty epic music when it's like carrying you. Oh. oh yeah, Sharon lives around here. I used to give her piano lessons. She was really talented for someone with no fingers. One day, she stopped coming to her lessons, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I made this puzzle. Really, it was just an excuse to put the piano here. I love fighting the ivories. Huh? Did you solve the puzzle? No one has ever! I've been waiting so long for someone to... I mean, uh, big deal, whatever. Hey, you figured out how to get the music to play. Nice, isn't it? What? You're at my favorite spot. You'd better jump in at least 1,000 puddles for me. Holy crap. 
I wonder if I do them 1,000 puddles, puddles, will uh, something special happen? Have you reached triple digits yet? Oh my gosh, really? Is this a real thing? Is it? No. Okay, guys, let me know in the comment section below if it literally keeps track of the uh, the puddles. Uh, and if, uh, and if, if you do the 1,000 puddles, will it actually do something for me? That's, that's interesting. I might spend, uh, some time when I actually have some free time just walking back and forth, maybe watching something on YouTube or something. Asgore Castle. Guess there's no stopping you, huh? The trail dead ends here, unless you can jump. Honestly, I can't believe I expected you to go this way. What was I thinking? And how was I right? Since you flexed at me, I've been thinking of a lot of things, like flexing. <laughs> Return the umbrella, yeah, put the umbrella. How do I get up now? I don't know how to, I have to walk all the way back. Don't explain it. Oh no, I gotta walk all the way back. No, can you help me up? <laughs> I like how you get to meet all the uh, the monsters you defeated. So uh, I'm gonna cut, of course, straight to when I make it to the other side. The garbage dump. So many great things come from there. The only reason we have modern technology is because of all the human junk that flows from the surface. Plus, it's a great place to meet girls. <laughs> Alright. That's where I met Alfie for the first time. I was looking for cool swords when I saw her. Uh, standing there. Staring into the abyss. She looked pretty, um... Contemplative. So I asked her where she thought she'd... Uh, where she thought the abyss led to. She looked up at me and sh uh, I can't speak. She looked at me. She looked up at me shocked and went red in the face. But I'm scary. So I use that kind of stuff. I'm used to that kind of stuff. Then she kept explaining all her different theories. She went on for hours. I was so captivated. After that, I kept running into her here. And now we're friends. Yeehaw! I don't know. I think she has the hots for Alfie. Let's see if she says anything else. Oh my god. Don't make me tell the story again. <laughs> it was a long story. Hey. That's the store of Gerson Hammer of Justice, the toughest monster that ever lived. He fought in the war between humans and monsters, and he survived. He's a real hero. This guy here? Okay. There's no response. <laughs> the, this is the only other place where there's no response. They do not want to talk to me here. Pay for Tim College. Ah, oh, I still can't afford it. You don't have muns. Oh, I'm sorry. This is where Elder Puzzler likes to stand. It's important to respect our puzzle roots. Yeah, someone else has to care, so I don't have to. But Undyne, don't you like tradition? I worked in an office pushing blocks for a month. My respect for block puzzles was depleted by corporate life. What? You threw away my dream life? The life of a simple salary man? Really? Communicating every day on a train full of spikes? What? Don't understand. A train full of spikes? I won't tell him that's not how it works. <laughs> All right. Bah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. 
Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. You, you're young. You've still got hope. <laughs> Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. Huh? So, what are you waiting for? Ooh. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah. Forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Bah. 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 Is there a puzzle to be solved here? Bah. Never mind. Bah. Did I do it wrong? Oh no! Let me know in the comment section if I did it wrong. Bah. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, wasn't this room the best? Like when I decided to not do that boring monologue and then went totally off the cuff. Or when I almost killed you with spears. Or when I almost killed you with more spears. Oh man, I should have taken photos. Look at her face. <laughs> Think about how cute a little scrapbook would be. Now I want a scrapbook of my fight too. Let's start a photo company for boss fights. One week later, sample glossies in the mail. Relieve, relive the memories. This is where I was chasing you, but you got a phone call, so I had to wait. Oh, that was me! What? What were you even calling about? I was just saying uh, we should all hang out. As I was trying to kill them? Well, nobody starts as great friends. I can't believe Papyrus's brother was sleeping. I was counting on him to stop you. Ah, he's gotten really out of shape. He tires easily. Lately, he's been napping over seven hours a night. That is ludicrous. Seven hours of sleep? That's unbelievable. He's napping himself into an early grave. I agree. Your brother needs to... Wait, isn't that just called sleeping? Undyne? No! Not you too! <laughs> oh, good one. Good, 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 good. Let's see if the bridge changes. Wait. Papyrus. When do you sleep? I'm usually too busy to sleep. Why? Well, I was just thinking, if you're not using that cool car bed, can I have it? Thank God for that water cooler, huh? Actually, you can thank Alfie's. She put it there just for me. Now I can take a drink on the way to her lab. Though, usually I'm not wearing 100 pounds of armor. Thanks for giving me the wa that water, I guess. All right, same thing. And what are you? Whoa! Oh, okay, k k k k k I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. What the heck is that? Take a cup of water? Yes. Give it to this person? Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. All right. What? Royal guards are blocking the way? Then I'll tell them to. Well, nothing, I guess. I already told them to seek out and destroy you. And I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. You see, Alfie showed me these animations about uh, humans so I can learn their weaknesses. And one of them is about this human that, uh, well, suffi suffice to say, they can control people's minds. Surprised? I know your kind's hidden power. Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever defeat defended a human, I must be under some kind of mind control. 
and to disregard everything that I tell them. So, sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really cool. Alright. I'm not going to tell them to let you buy. Please? Darn! Darn! Thought I was about to find a secret with that. Hey! You should come to Snowden and visit me! No way! Come to Snowden and visit me! What? We're in the same location. Wrong! I'm standing slightly to the right. <laughs> I thought you were standing slightly to the left. Well, I guess it's my left and you're right. You're at Alfie's lab. It's Is she there? Hey! Tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And wait. No, don't ask any of that. Uh, she really has it uh, for Alfie. Like, she likes Alfie a lot. But she's fine, right? <laughs> she likes Alfie a lot. All right. So, oh my god. I've been literally recording for one hour on the dot. Okay, over an hour now. Um, I'm going to cut all of this probably into a short episode. I'm not going to leave in everything. I literally walked all over the place listening to every single message. I'll probably add that to the intro so that you guys know. I'll like retroactively add it. Hmm. Cool, cool. Okay, so that is going to have to be it for this episode. And next episode, we're going to dig deep into that lab and push on forward and see what is what we're done exploring to the back. Unless there's something special that I missed that you guys might want me to check out. Um, I think that's it. I think we're just going to push on forward. So that is going to be it for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. This is Zirik, and I'm out.